By the way, you know some dirtbag shit, but bar stools is a is a platform for the people. I saw a homeless man outside in front of here mm -hmm. screaming at uh, the cyclists, mm -hmm. and he had a bar stool sweater. Really? Like, bar stools <laughs> represent the voice of the voiceless. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. The skateboard, but then they came out with a, a scooter. Okay. And they were supposed to do like a big ad deal with us, so they gave gave us one, and it. Well, it was fucking amazing. Yeah, it was. I was. It was this was back when I was taking the train in still, and I was zipping from Grand Central to our That's office. That's what I'm saying, man. You get uh, everywhere so much faster. But so the, they gave me, I think, like a, a a sample one or some shit, and the battery like died quickly. And so your scooter lasted like six hours. But like, <laughs> thank God, because I think I'd be dead right now if I didn't. Because I was like, zoom, zoom, zoom. I, know, I mean, man. I was treating it like it was a fucking video game. Yeah, and I was breezing through streets and intersections. Yeah, it's it not was, a toy. You can, no, you, you fuck around, you lay around. Well, I think yeah. they, I think they did. Uh, I think they tried to do the rental ones in Manhattan. I think like people died. Yeah, yeah. no, that, they that tried, shit ended like, real quick. Like one weekend, like two people died. And, like, like ten six accidents, hours. and they were gone. But it, it, the argument again is so funny. Like people, are like you can't put it. But people. Well, cars are there too. <laughs> right, right, right. You'll drive drunk everywhere. <laughs> right. there, like, there's personal responsibility <laughs> to things. But I had to. I had to stop. I can only walk in the city. I had to stop. I used to rollerblade to work um, and back, and and I had to stop doing that because one, I'm not as good a skater as I used to be, and two. I'd be drunk. <laughs> yeah, right, right, yeah. Like, drunk blading. Like I'd, have, I'd have a drink or two after work. And then you don't I, see rollerblades anymore. No. Well, they're, on, they're on the comeback. They're on the comeback. I, they're on the comeback. I, I, on the comeback. I was going to say, you've been saying on the comeback <laughs> yo, since 2015. Blades? Rollerblades are on the you comeback. Said that, you, said, you said that Bush is back and Bush rollerblades back. are back. Bush the last back. decade, dude. Dude, Chicks with Pubes is back and fucking oh, roll. I thought you meant George Bush. No, no. I don't think I meant George Bush. And George Bush George is back, too. Now, that motherfucker paints like a son he, of a he's bitch. He's more back than the other ones you're talking about. He's the most back out of all three of no, those he, he, most, he, he most certainly is, and I'll tell you why, right? Because people were so, like, they had such disdain for Trump that they were like, oh, remember Bush? Like, yeah. they wanted him back. Yeah. Well, because Bush has always been cool. Dude, he gave Michelle a mint once. He's very nice. Yeah, the littlest things, yeah. dude. The bar is so low with politicians to just right. be That's normal just... people. Uh, and, like, he was always personable and cool. It was just like, well, you know, you started a war for no reason. <laughs> and like, you killed a bunch of people. I was but once that's like, oh, that's old news. It's like, ah, you're cool. You threw out that pitch the one time. It was awesome. Yeah, 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 man, right, right. You know? And I also remember the way his, uh, he had the Floyd Mayweather role. Remember when he threw the shoe at him? And he was, yeah, oh, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Your thoughts, not everyone's moving that's from that shit. I mean. And he, he makes was... an eye contact. <laughs> right, he was like, what's up? That's athleticism. Yeah. <laughs> that's that, like, if... if a guy like that, he should have just stayed in Major League Baseball and shit. He's not meant for politics. You yeah, got yeah. you're too cool. Like, you're a regular guy, you know. I, I bet being he a, was a like, ex president he? is is awesome. Other than like, you know, people are still trying to kill you, and you got like the surge, the Secret Service everywhere you go. It's probably like oh, I'm done now. I can just be myself, I'm yeah, hanging now out. You pay like, a million dollars and you to give a speech. Yeah, you yeah. write a book, write a book, and give a speech, and you're fucking rich, man. Dude, he was before he was president. Like that was back when like. Like Clinton was making confessions, like I did experiment with marijuana, mm. and then four years later, it's like we elected a guy who, like, I believe he got caught with coke at Yale. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 he got caught with coke at the White House. Yeah, <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> he was, like, yeah. so anyway, yeah, like, uh, Lebanon. He's really hard, which also is so weird to think back, like even twenty years ago. Paul was making like heartfelt confessions that they About might have tried in marijuana in college one time, and that was just fucking legal everywhere. It's right, crazy. <laughs> fucking crazy. Anyway, we just kind of dove into anything, everything here. Sergio Chacon's here on KFC Radio, and uh, I mean, I, I'm I'm always just seeing you doing things with Chrissy D, and I figured yes. you know he's that, been that was a all live. Well, that was recorded. Yeah, that was yeah. all live. Oh, dope, man. Because I was like, <laughs> damn, just I just go. blew my low run. I'm not gonna get to follow that shit. I no. felt smooth. You know, I was like, yo, get, no, get, that that was... get the shit going. <laughs> you gotta set me up properly. I like that. You guys don't. I've always found doing. that the before and after sometimes is funnier than than when we're you know interviewing. Yeah, so we just yeah, let it rip. I appreciate dude. that. Yeah. You would have did like this long setup uh, uh, intro. I would have been like, <laughs> <laughs> but I did fall off my scooter. I wanted to. Share oh right, that right, shit. right, right, right. Okay. I didn't click it. You know how it locks in the pin. Yeah. I didn't click it, and on Twenty First Street, I, I that shit, it collapsed. And so I, as you're driving, the, the that the, shit collapsed. The handlebars just like fall to your, like your legs basically, like into your waist. Yes, and I fell flat on my chest, and I was like. <laughs> Yeah, and I got oh. up and I looked like a disgruntled Uber driver, <laughs> Uber, Uber delivery, and I just kept it moving. I didn't even look back. Yeah, really? I just knew people would be like that with their phones. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Did you fuck your shit up? Your hands? No, and man. No? I, I don't know wow. what it is, man, but I actually fell on my face and, you know. Dude, Iron Man I, over nothing, here. Nothing. When nothing. was that? 
This was uh, like two weeks ago. No shit. Funny enough, I was interviewing Chris Stefano, mm-hmm. right? He was on my podcast. And right before I'm, 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 I'm taking off, he got a homeless pimp, his cameraman there. He's like, look at this herb. He's mad whack. Look at him on a scooter. And I said, he says, I hope you die. And let's <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> so wait, he doesn't like the scooter? Mm-hmm. Man, any chance that he, he could open up on me, that's what it was, man. I, had, yeah. you know, I looked like a herb. I had a big fucking helmet. But <laughs> see, that's I was going to say, were well, you rocking a helmet or not? Because you might think it's not cool. All of a sudden, you take you wipe out at 20 fucking miles an hour. It's no joke, man. Yeah, you don't want to crack your coconut. No, like no. Because no. yeah, cool. you know what's the, you know what the, the most herb shit is? When you're like in the hospital. For your scooter. It's like, well, why are you yeah. brain dead now? I was riding my scooter. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That's, the, that's the lamest shit. So. There are people, I think you've mentioned this um, in, a, in states around here, people do it, but they do it in Massachusetts and Rhode Island, where in Massachusetts, you have to wear a helmet. In Rhode Island, you don't. And people like pull over, she's like, into the state of Rhode Island, pull over to pop their helmets <laughs> off or something. It's like, dude, it's not that. It's like, just, just keep leave going. It on, it's, it's already been on for an hour. Right. Just keep fucking just going. Leave dude. it on wherever you're going. Yeah. Same rules with the seatbelt, too, right? Yeah. Some places Yo, where it's like. I, I feel like seatbelts, man, if you're not rocking your seatbelt now, like back, like when I was a kid and getting like older, it was like kind of like you're 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 a loser if you're not rocking your seatbelt. Now right. it's like Well, now yeah. see, but that's nah, not yeah, fair nah, for you're crazy. You're a little bit maybe like me. Sergio, you look like you're nothing like me. The, <laughs> the, the thing with fucking seatbelts is it, it matters who you're with. Yes. Right? So if I'm riding shotgun and I got a girl with me, right? Or if I'm driving and I got a girl with me, seatbelts not going on. And it's not, and it's <laughs> not, not true. it's not because I don't want I want to make her think I'm tough or something like that. It's because that seatbelts hug you in all, all the wrong, wrong places, dude. I got no, like, you don't I, have to worry about it. Looks it looks like he's I got a, like I got a cross bag. I got he's a cross good. strap bag on me. I'm, I'm driving. I'm fucking uh, Kate Upton walking down the <laughs> runway. I got two <laughs> fat set of tits right here. My stomach is overhanging. I do know that feeling. Fucking butt here. When we like, did the podcast <laughs> in, in the car, we we drove up to Vermont and we did the show in the car. We put up the cameras. That was what like a fucking five hour drive of just bouncing and shaking. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. Yeah, that's how you know when you, you, you look heavy. Yeah. 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 When you, you take a short stop in a car and it jiggles. <laughs> or when you get out, he's like, when I, I never realized it until, until I was fat. When I started to run and I felt the bounce. I was like, I need like a fucking bra. Yeah. <laughs> this is bad. Yeah, Puerto Ricans, they call them fajas. <laughs> fajas. Yeah, and there's this the freaking, you know. It's like Spanx, like, right? Like corset, yeah. Yeah. yeah they it Dude, up. I, I uh, one of my buddies probably like, maybe like last year we all went to dinner. And he's the one who's he's like the funniest of the bunch, but also the one we clown on the most. And he just leaned in. He was like, you guys know what I've been wearing a lot recently? Spanx. <laughs> and the fucking, I mean, the dinner stopped. It's like, and we are all always making fun of each other, but like you're wearing Spanx. And you, you know, just, that's some you shit you don't tell. Us. Yeah. <laughs> but, but then I'll tell, you, I'll tell that's you what, man. I watched the fucking Instagram ad on it the other day. Of course, I'm being fed that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. And I watched the guy, like he, it's like boxers, like normal. But then he just pulled up this extra thing. And it was like, and I was like, <laughs> I mean, I could use that. <laughs> that's pretty useful. That's something that's easy too. Like, so, you know, obviously the, the concern is always you go home with someone. Yeah. yeah. And, but that's like something easy. You kind of slide down. As right? you're at your I mean, on? she'll recognize it because they've been, they've been, Chase been wearing Spanx for a little bit. Right. Now. She's going to know the deal quick, fast. Yeah. 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 So, but but so, I would still rub your back real quick. Before oh, I, I, I get I feel it. that extra layer down there. <laughs> like, but oh, that's a, br- like, a bra clip right yeah, yeah. Your, down your spine. <laughs> That's like, okay, listen, on the count of three, you take off your push-up bra, I'll take off my fucking man girdle, and we'll just pretend everyone's hot. But I would imagine, man, you put one of those on, yes, your confidence, you're Through moving, the roof. You're moving yeah. down 7th Avenue with, with swag. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I've been, the whole day I'm sitting down, I'm pulling my shirt off, I'm trying to fucking, you know, yeah. if I just had that on, I'd be like, what's up? What's up? I got all my fat. I had instant uh, confidence for doing something like vain like that. I tried Rogan and well, Minoxidil, the hair thing, mm-hmm. for like a week. Yeah, and it's going back. Yo, dog. No, yeah, it wasn't going back, <laughs> yeah. but my confidence. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I bought a leather jacket. <laughs> I put one earring in. Yeah, I was talking to girls like I was. I became a misogynist for a week. <laughs> Yo, I it changed. Me. I said I can't do this. I can't. I can no longer behave this way with my fucking leather jacket and one earring and, and with my Rogan and Minoxidil in the inside pocket. But the maintenance That's for that great, is too man. much. Like three times a day. You know, yeah. you can't do that shit. Dude, we have we we've. I've done a lot of things recently to try and fix what I find to be my own inefficiencies or deficiencies. <laughs> and one I did that was crazy, and I ended up stopping because it was so insane, was I got like one of those Instagram ads for like a beard thing, 
and as you can see it didn't work. Um, <laughs> and it was like, it was like you had like a cream you'd rub in every morning, but then like three times a week you had like needlepoint that you'd roll onto your face, and it was. It was these these little oh these, like a roller that had spikes yeah yeah okay. yeah oh and so trying to generate like hair, more hair follicles or something the fuck and, yeah. and then and then you rub the beard rub the beard lotion into the holes in, into the holes and like That's... I'd have to I'd have to get out of the shower get dressed fucking do my beard shit and then just sit on my couch in silence for twenty minutes <laughs> until I stopped bleeding before I could come to work <laughs> <laughs> I was like I was like all right, I think I got, I think I'm done with this. I don't think it's working too much, and, and I'm sick of waiting to stop bleeding I before I can on my shirt. leave the apartment. Yeah, just on your collar. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, I think that's a, a big difference between men and women, right? Like, women will go through that. They do and, all and that be shit. diligent. Like, guys were like, two days at most, and we're like, fuck it, we're moving but we're on. Phase, well, that's we're why they're hot and we're ugly. Right. We're phase one chicks. Yeah. So we had, back in the day, we had uh, metrosexuals, and those were men who didn't like to wear wrinkled clothes. Right. right. And we made a like, joke like, about calling like, gay. These dudes are gay. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then we've kind of progressed now to like, we'll use beauty products. We'll probably give up on them. And then I think the next generation, they're like, they'll no, stick we, to we're it. full on beauty. We're full on. There's a reason the why, thing. you know, they call them the fairer sex and everyone says like the female body is so beautiful. And it's like, yeah, because they're trying. Yeah. They're putting yeah, on I, lotions I recently and started creams putting on lotion. serums. Yeah. Yeah. It's a game changer. White people find out lotion. <laughs> so it's yeah, a big revelation. Late with the game yeah. with lotion. <laughs> yeah. It's a big revelation for us. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, I feel like a fucking like snake. What can I possibly do? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Have you seen the, uh, it's mostly like Asian people I see on Instagram with the fake hair. Like it's, uh, like a, it's like a it's like a hoodie. It's <laughs> it's like a toupee, but I, I don't really know exactly how toupees work. But I always kind of just imagine you put them on. This was like this dude kind of had like last little scraggly hair. They shaved it off so that he had like the Costanza, and then they put like this gl they glue it like here, and then they like hold it over, over the top. And it looked real as fuck. I, yeah. I've definitely seen like like one it. of the type one of the, at least one of those videos. I don't know if it was an Asian guy or what it was, but the. The 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 ball that's being cured that easy is a game changer now. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. kind of like I wonder how long that lasts. I, I I have a friend. I won't say his name. Here's a comic, <laughs> <laughs> and he's bald. And he we were talking about he the same thing you were talking about for your beard. He wants to do on his head. So it's like a tattoo. So I guess it's not the same. It's like a tattoo. Is it a tattoo? Yes. Yeah, so like, you know how you have like a five o'clock shadow? Yeah, So yeah, he had yeah. a Constan Ooh. Constanza, Ooh. but but it was yeah. low. So he had like, you know, like stubble on this side, but nothing on top, completely bald on top. So you tattoo the top. So it's all consistent. No shit. But if someone touches your head, it's smooth. It's, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, weird. yeah. That's And he was contemplating doing it. He said, like, would you do it? I was like, nah, man, I never worried about it that much. I did Rogaine for like six hours and I moved on my <laughs> life. <laughs> but you look good. You can shave your head Yeah, and I feel balls, good with it. Yeah, know? I got a good, you know. There's a difference between like shaving your head and, and, and like having that be your look versus like I'm holding on for dear life. Right. Because I got a couple scraggles. And, and this, up, and this you know? particular person, he has a good shaped head, but he, he's insecure. He was insecure about it. He went ahead a, a couple of months later and got Got it done, and it looks fine. But when I saw him, we both made eye contact. I looked at it, looked at his nose, looked at his eyes, looked at it again, and I didn't say anything. <laughs> As a comic, I should have said something. That's yeah. the elephant in the room, and I just like to this day, I can't look at him in the eyes now. Yeah, right to the hair. <laughs> well, our boss here forever had this the, this bald spot that was just getting worse and worse by the day, week, month, year. The kind of boss that make you irate. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, like it looked like a yarmulke. It was yeah, like he's growing a yarmulke. I mean, we, 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 there like were a little people, island. They, yeah. would, they would film him. Like there was a guy who caught him walking to work from his like office building or his apartment, and he like zoomed in like on him on the street, and it just looked like he had like a white yarmulke on his head. It was That's just a bald nice. spot. Then he got rich and he fucking got hair plugs, and and like you kind of you're saying as a comic, it was like it was unfair for us. It was right. like well now we don't have our. Yeah, a fucking thing anymore. Yeah. You know, we're busting each other's balls, and now he doesn't have a bald spot anymore. I was like, well, this is fucking cheating, man. How, yeah, how does it look? It, it looks uh, great. Unbelievable. I mean, he got like top notch doctor. Yeah. You know, did it in exchange for some publicity and shit. I think, I think it was some of the things you take some from the front or somewhere else on your body. So it was like, it's not like fake hair. It's like your hair implanted, whatever the fuck it was. It worked. Yeah. Like this is some bullshit, man. I, I mean, I don't know where it stops, man. There's there's dudes who are even getting muscle implants. Yeah, have you heard about the, that shit? And that's, I think that's very, I think that's very popular with like Latino culture. Like yeah. there's some guys who I know from from Dominican Republic, and they'll get like a six pack thrown in. Twenty one years old, 
But they still got the love handles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna do that, you gotta do everything. Yeah, because you can't just be like, like what does it stop? Like calf implants. I I've heard of calf implants. That's the. I didn't know people were doing full abs. Yeah, That's they'll wild. do like the chest. So now it's like, oh, help me with this couch. They don't. Have, they have the muscles, but they, <laughs> but they can't fucking help lift the couch. That's a problem too, man. So I don't think <laughs> that ever stops. I, 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 I'm waiting for this, and I'm saying this right now on air. I think for people to look tougher, they're gonna get like cauliflower ears. Yeah, I know MMA. <laughs> Bang them in. Yeah, just fill it in for me. <laughs> yeah, look. Yo, at I always say cookies. if I if I see if I see a cauliflower ear, like not that I'm a tough guy to begin with, but I am not fucking with you, man. Yeah, those motherfuckers. Not... Are, but they're peaceful a lot of times. They're like zen out. Yeah, well, you know, because they always like got killed enough people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they always got a big ass vein up their calf muscle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll leave that guy alone. His name is like, you know, it's some Brazilian name. They all got like the same name. It's like something silver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was what be a muscle you would get added? I'll probably get butt implants. Yeah, yeah but dude, pop that ass. ass. <laughs> pop that right, ass. Your ass works, bro. Right. Ass plays on both sexes, man. <laughs> dude, I got ass no ass. Ass is king. Ass. No, my whole back is just flat. It, it, it goes back to thighs. Yeah, just, it's whew. nothing. I We're just nothing. like a hole Which there doesn't make shit. sense because I fucking like... I exercise and I do squats. Not not like heavy See, squats. that's how you know, like though, that. when girls are like, I'm going to do squats and get an ass. No, you're not. No, you're not. You either got an ass or you don't. You might work, you know, might tone it or round it or shape it, but like you either got I mean, an ass I, I or you do, do not. I do squats like fucking that. I do squats like fucking prison squats. <laughs> yeah. But the, yeah. <laughs> the, just go straight down. Yeah, and up, straight down. Check the phone. Put a chair on my shoulders uh, for a second. <laughs> <laughs> now, I noticed you said you, uh, as a comic, you. Uh, regret not saying anything after looking at that guy's hair. Uh, are, are, are we just gonna keep letting me wear this hat without you saying something about it? I like the hat. You like this hat? <laughs> you know I, I look ridiculous up. in this hat. Well, it's a big hat. It's a huge. It hat. looks so my, like my construction my, helmet. My, my, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I. Yo, you want some coffee? You know, like I feel like you're gonna hit this and be like, "What's this mahogany?" I feel like the conversation gonna go there. It's big, but I have a close affinity to the Mets because yeah. I was a Met fan. Yeah, and I'm talking about back. Well, this in the day. hat you can pull off. You can wear this hat. I can't wear this hat. Why not? Because I'm white. Right, I'm a dad. Uh, you, look at me. You look very. You know, I, I, there's something warm that's attached to it. First of all, I'm a I'm a Mets fan. Okay. And secondly, you kind of look like Jim Brew with it, <laughs> okay. right? Because Jim Brew is a big yeah, Mets fan. Yeah. He wears a mask, so that's I'm yep. telling that all. It's all giving me good feelings. So I'm, I'm a big Mets fan too. Uh, my birthday just passed, and my son, who's four, picked this out for me. So now I wear it. Half as a joke, half for fucking fun, half for him to be like, "Oh, I liked your gift." Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's fucking it's ridiculous. Not only is it <laughs> huge, but I mean. These are, this is not, these are not white guy hats. Come on. Yeah, that's a black man's hat. <laughs> for sure. And I, yeah, and a black man's tattoo. You know how many uh, black guys have I've seen with this. the with Statue of Liberty yeah. fucking tattooed yeah, on their that form? That would be a good array of tats for a New Yorker. I, 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 the only, I fucking took the sticker off like an idiot. Oh, have that, that yeah, New Era sticker. Yeah. I should have left it on. But and I've been you wearing, rip, you I, rip it off like five uh, years later and it's, it's got, the only clean spot. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I've been getting looks. Yeah, I'm like walking. Well, looks. you know what's funny? I don't know if I'm getting looks or if I'm like either making them up in my head or maybe I've always been getting looks and I'm just seeing them now. But I see guys kind of like give a little look or like look at the hat and kind of be like, what the fuck is this about? Because <laughs> like nothing else in my outfit or anything else says this, you know? Yeah. For some and I kind of forget that, that it's on. I'm like, what? For some reason, when you said that, I thought like, like girls. Like, yeah, that's what I, mean. <laughs> I no. thought I thought like ladies were like, oh, what's I don't, up? What's I up, I don't think that's happening. I, I didn't realize <laughs> you were a big bug shop bug shelter guy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still a Mets fan now? You said were. Yeah, yeah, I was because as a kid I followed them. So you mm -hmm. know, when you, I'm, I'm an old head, so mm -hmm. you know, I was five years old when they won the World Series. So I wanted to be Stra Dar 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 Strawberry. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be Jesse Orozco, Tim Tuffle, Mackie mm -hmm. Sasser, you know, uh, Jim J uh, Greg Jeffries. That was it. That's and then as it went on, you know, I, I kind of. It out. Uh, it's understandable. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still hanging on. Hopefully, we're back at it soon. But uh, yeah, it's been has not been a great run. <laughs> yeah, no, you're a boxer, right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I did some amateur boxing. I'm yeah. also still a trainer. You know, so that's my main sport. I was gonna say, is that like you know, watch and bet and all that kind of yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, bet, yeah. I don't no, bet, but I, I but I do enjoy it. You know, uh, but I but I have a, an enormous amount of because with that question comes with what do you think of MMA, MMA? Always, and yeah. I like MMA. I have a, a huge amount of respect for it. But boxing is the main thing I was brought up on, and and I still enjoy. So you're the you're the first person I've really talked to who knows boxing since this celebrity boxing shit has taken off. Uh, what do you think about that? Like when you see you you have you watched the Jake Paul fights? And shit yeah, like that? and like, I don't can, mind that kid them can at fight. All. Like, yeah, 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 he, he, like, he absolutely. The eye test, fight. like he's a real fighter, right? Yeah, or, you know, a natural. And he's doing it on, on his on his terms because mm -hmm. he has the financial backing and you know mm -hmm. the, the 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 publicity. So I think he's doing it right and accordingly. There's drama attached to it. He's fighting guys 
who somewhat got a, a, a background, and not the first couple of guys, but he's slowly moving up the right. So and smart about who he picks. Yeah, you know? I mean, it's you like know, people with a name and a little bit of skill, but he can still probably beat him. You know, right. but like, so if he were to go to a fucking local gym here and just pick out a guy, not like another professional superstar, but just a guy who's like hungry in the gym who fights I, I when he, he get his ass beat. I, I he think would... he can absolutely hold his own. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think he can absolutely. that's what I, I still couldn't tell and I don't know anything enough about the sport, but I was wondering if like you just pick some fucking, you know, some Puerto Rican guy off the street who just trains every day yeah, and I mean, get it, his it, ass it, kicked. Also, or if... you just don't know. Man, styles make fights. That guy True. might just, you know, just know how to, you know, yeah, evade that right number. hand because he has a good right hand. Right. You know, right. I mean, that shit lands and it's like a, a, a Volkswagen, you know, <laughs> that shit can move a Volkswagen Beetle. That like, it's a hard right hand. He knocked out the Woodley with that. Yeah, Woodley knockout Woodley. was like... Yeah, I mean, I, how Woodley like, didn't see that shit coming? Yeah. Because I felt like it was like, you know... Well, that's, again, when I feel like I wonder if people would... Because it, it is like, I'm going to punch you now. Yeah, and he but he did move. set it up with a jab to the body, which mm -hmm. is smart. Yeah, you know, yeah. like you get to the body, kind of lower the hand, and he came around. Bang. And so that's technique. Are you still fighting like... Uh, no, I, nah, I train. Yeah, but I'll, I'll get some sparring in right. every now and then. You got to be crazy to still fight. fight yeah. Like, yeah, I mean... Especially the, if you got, you know, you're a comedian, you got like, another trade. It's yeah, like, yeah. I'm not trying I mean, to get my head I, mashed in. Also, yeah, I mean, you, after a certain age, man, you just slow down. And there's only a few that could do it. Like, remember in the, on the pro level, remember Bernard Hopkins? He was like he 52 did it, did years it. old. Yeah. But, his, you know, you can age from one day to the next in boxing. Yeah, it's and his last that. fight, he fought some kid from Long Island who wore a, a, a helmet like you. He was like, he's like, <laughs> he's like, a, he was like an iron like worker. <laughs> pro boxer and... Bernard just aged that day. He yeah. was moving around the ring like... Uh -huh. and, his legs got it. and then he gets knocked out, falls on his head. Like, yeah. you know, directly on his head. So, you know, we talked about that shit earlier. You fuck around, you lay around, like, you got to be careful. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. you're trying to, like, get that one last one in. Right. Oh, as always, people would say, you don't play boxing, yeah. right? Like, it's, right. Not, it's not a game. But, yeah. it's, like, it's like asking for one more round. And, like, you know, you do one more round with a drink. It's easy, you know. Maybe maybe order an extra pizza that night. Yeah, you one, do one more, more round of boxing. We see it time and time again. Yeah, you, yeah. you can't talk anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So with the celebrity boxing, I'm all for it. I I'm not, you know. I think it's wasted energy to get all bent out of shape about People it. People get so uptight. They get man. so upset. You know, listen, it's generating attention towards the sport. A it's sport that was revenue. dying too. Like you boxing needs attention. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, it's rejuvenating the sport. You got to understand, Jake Paul. The, his handlers are all people in the pro game. Mm -hmm. And and the undercard is all pro all boxing. Pros, yeah. You know, and he even went on to start, start managing a, a Puerto Rican boxer by Serrano, this female boxer. Yes. And she's great. Who's like, like a, a the purest of boxers, right? Yeah. She's been boxing for like 25 years. So he's years. doing a lot of interesting things. Yeah. I'm thinking like, yeah, he's bringing attention to the sport. The card is high. So I think it's good. Even on a on a lower level where you just get like a, a TikToker, let them fight each other. Fuck, Fuck it. it. Yeah. If you're gonna, you know, you might, it might be the seed that's planted that gets someone interested in the sport. Yeah. You know, yeah. the same thing with stand-up. I don't, I don't get bent out of saying people like, oh, uh, you know, so-and-so who, uh, who had a YouTube page is doing stuff. So fucking what? Mm -hmm. Let him do his thing. Yeah, like, that bothers not, me too. I was just talking yesterday uh, with Derek Gaines about it and, and we were talking about because T.I. is doing stand-up now and I guess some people in the stand-up circles are mad that like he's already getting time and stage time and selling out you know and all this shit and they're like he didn't he didn't grind and pay his dues it's like well he paid his dues in music yeah, right. he just did it somewhere else he put was, ass in the seats that's all right and that's do. really that's all that matters exactly and, it's right. like, and, and, and it's not that he didn't it's like he worked hard when he was doing shows in front of rap shows in front of 10 people and grinding to pay for studio time. And that's what, you know, he grinded over here. You grinded over here. you both fucking, you know what I mean? It's like, as long as you can sell the tickets, that's all that matters. And if he's not funny, by the way, he'll just, it won't work. Yeah. So and that's the other thing. It's sink or swim. It's not like he gets on and he just gets all the money. It's like, now he's got to prove it. And if he doesn't, the game will even itself out. That's a, that's absolutely right. And the thing is, so people, and this has been some other podcasts, like people are drawn to the, oh, T.I. is doing this, but that's only going to last for so long. If you're funny, motherfucker, then you'll mm -hmm. stay in, in, in the, in the you know, you'll stay And, and the same thing with like the undercards. Like if I, if I show up for T.I., I, I, I can't tell you how many times I've gone to a comedy show for the, the main act and I walk away being like the under the uh, the opener was funnier than him, and now I'm a fan of him, and now I go to their shows. Exactly, Just good for the fucking. You, you know who's a good example of someone who actually made that work, and and he did it right, Steve O. Yeah, right yeah, from yeah. Jackass. Yeah. You know, the comics he, like him. Yeah, think, so yeah. when he did it right, and I'm not sure if it was his handlers who came up with this idea, but what he would do is he'll headline Carolines. 
I, I, he, he was showcased as headlining Carolyn, yeah, yeah. but he wasn't headlining. He would host that shit. Uh, so he would staple his on. nut to the side of his leg, <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. shoot fire out his ass. But then he would have dogs, <laughs> like yeah. Big J Okerson yeah, doing yeah. a 15-minute spot. You know, uh, you know, guys of that, 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 that caliber, that, yeah. yeah. That caliber. And that's a small way to do it. So right. in between his shit, which is shit that people came to see, right. you know, then you get stand-ups. That, right. That's a great he, show. I'd that's love a great show. That. That's plus your great comics. Well, that's what, that's what his, what he, he was on the show during the pandemic, I think. Yeah. And he was promoting a new special of his where it was basically, I was, I, I didn't expect it to be that. I thought it was going to be strictly stand-up. And it was. There was a lot of that. A lot of the staple in the nuts. The, fu- uh, <laughs> he can't even talk about it. <laughs> Pontius like swallows his cum or something. Like, <laughs> oh, that or yeah. yeah. Cause the staple yeah. of the nuts, if you just use the 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 the, the sack, I think that's doable. Yeah, yeah. Like I would do that. Like if well, you I, I definitely funny. pinched the skin before. Yeah, it's yeah. Really yeah. not much there. I did, I did that just the past time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, like I'm doing it right now, and it's just nothing. I don't feel nothing. There's nothing. Come on, you can't think about a little skins. Oh no, that sack I'm pinching. I'm oh, it's the it. cum <laughs> swallowing. It's the drinking of the cum. But what he does is, what he does is, he's like Wait, I, I didn't know he no, did that. That's no, wild, dude. He comes in a condom, and then Pontius fucking swallows it. Oh, Jesus, shits it out, and then swallows it again. Oh God, yeah, that I don't need that. <laughs> I don't. That's need rough. That. <laughs> you know what's funny? That's is a I'm, hard way to make a living. What dude. I, well, I'm, I'm just thinking. I was about to say, like, I'll just, I, I just need to watch you drink the cum. It's fine. <laughs> like, that's okay. But that other shit, I don't know about that, man. Um. So you've been you are you on tour with Chrissy D and stuff? Or I feel like you yes. guys are on a lot, or you just when you're in New York. Yeah, or whatever? so me and Chrissy D go back, uh, you know, uh, years now. And uh, you know, when we first when I first started working with him, he said, "Come on the road with me." And it was you know he was half filling seats. Then he did some podcasts. I started generating like a real grassroots following. Mm-hmm. This is a guy who did, you know, uh, a little bit of the mainstream stuff, a lot of the mainstream stuff. But you know what? A following be- became hardcore. It's like the podcast, yeah. mm-hmm. and now. The seat starts to fill up. And we just started a theater tour called Chrissy uh, Chaos mm-hmm. or Chrissy Theaters. And that shit's been fun. Dude, yeah. theater tours, no doubt. Yeah. yeah. I saw you guys at Foxwoods. And I actually meant to ask you this when we were talking about boxing. You were talking about training. And and you train mostly... Yeah, Kelsey's and Megan's. Well, okay. Yeah, uh, young white woman. I, I want to make sure I was remembering correctly. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Kelsey's and Megan's. Well got done, Father Bird. That, that, that is it. They're all young white women who are professionals, wear nothing but Lulu. They show up on time, they pay well, they want to work. And uh, yeah, that's my clientele. But so, like, so how's that work? Like, are you like lying to them? Like, hey, a like, great punch. Like, do you do you get no? Them I get I get them shit. Listen, yeah. you gotta understand. So it, I'm not training fighters per se. It's fitness motivated, right? right. So right. they'll learn the combinations for sure. But you know, I'm gonna give them some shit when they throw a punch and their, their chin is sticking out. They're like a gopher <laughs> popping out of a hole. You know, you're gonna get knocked out, Megan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Protect your chin, Kelsey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's fucking great, man. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we we uh, do you know Eric Kelly? Absolutely. Yeah, he he is uh he's like tangentially kind of been in our world every now and then and he's always trying to be like come come down and I'll train you. I'll whip you into shape. I'm like, dude, I am so far. I'm so out of shape, so far from what you're talking about. I couldn't even last a second. Are, are you interested like, in boxing? I I I mean, I I would, you know, yes. I would I I actually I wish I grew up more around well, fuck all that. Just do it. That kind of shit. Just do it. Oh, but I mean, I'm just, I've had a million surgeries and I, I, I need to get into like a smidge of shape before I can even worry about like, throwing he, he hands. He knows what he's doing. He, but he you, is you just, work your accordingly. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I do love when uh, I feel like uh, the people I know who have done stuff like that where they're like, all right, I'm going to like boxing for training and they think that like day one they're going to get in there and like play like Rocky you know right, what I mean right, right. and the first thing is like alright do 100 push ups you know what I mean like right. get into shape that's what we're here to do it's, yeah, not, it's I, not a game you're not playing like you know Tom Cruise in the movies it's fucking exercise you know right you gotta uh, become conditioned to uh to to be consistent with the punches being thrown because if yeah. not then your hands are down here uh-huh. so it's a lot of different mm-hmm. uh, strength and conditioning endurance drills you have to do over and over in order just to keep your hands up right here right 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 when, when you, you get like tired this, you should just exactly. go down exactly right? yeah so that's the it's really hard to do yeah. that like we see it on the Instagram the pad work and everything but to keep your hands up for three minutes knees bent chin down and focus right. on what's I don't going I don't on. think I can do that for three minutes <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. just stand like this for three minutes I'd be like ah, I'm tired I can't do it anymore I can't yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I once I once went to Cuba just for you know vacation and we went you know the, the Cuban uh, amateur team is like the best in the world and they won countless medals or whatever so we decided to 
me and my friends decided to hire a trainer out there and it was hilarious. The gym was closed. It was under re renovations and we're outside like in a park and he had us like this, like mm -hmm. this, you know, conventional Cuban stand for like an hour. Yeah. And it's like, blah, blah, smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> want to fucking whistle at us. It was the most tedious shit, but you know, it was uh, that's like- how you learn, right? Yeah. Right. It's like karate kid shit, man. Exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> And you've been boxing since you were young? Oh, yeah, it was yeah. like on and off, but yeah. you know, started my my teens and then picked it back up in my early 20s. And yeah, stuff. it's funny. I was thinking, I was like, should I? Because my son, as I mentioned before, is four. I'm like, should I get him into this shit or something? Fucking karate or one of those things. You know what I mean? I, I kind of regret not being able to like, being in that involved in that at all. Dude. And I'd be like, can I send my little like, you know, suburban fucking kids? And she'd be like, yeah, now you go to karate or now you go boxing or whatever. Absolutely. Like, yeah. you, see, you see what they like. Yeah. It might not be boxing. It well, the way he's fucking, you know, bruising me and jumping around the house and shit, I might have to send him to like wrestling school. I don't know. <laughs> Turn him into a WWF star, that I, monster. I did karate at such a young age that I still didn't know my left and my right. <laughs> and uh, and like I had to like study. Like my mom was like, my mom having sat down. She's like, this is left, this is right. Never thought to teach me the LR thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I guess I probably didn't know my alphabet at the same time either. <laughs> so because you had to know when they're saying throw a left or throw a right, that's yeah. what they let you in the class. And so you I, do it? I went in for like a test, and like, like my mom couldn't come in with me. It was in the basement, like on like Pleasant Street and Fall River, like not in a nice part. Yeah, and like. I'm like a little little toe headed kid with like really long curly blonde hair, and I go in and I fail. I didn't do well, <laughs> and I walk out. And mom's like, "How'd it go?" I was like, "Let's go to the car." <laughs> I, I back, to, back to T ball, mom. Yeah. This, this shit ain't working. I, I, I eventually got it, but I did not get it session one. There's <laughs> adults, man. That I'm telling, you, move to your left, and they go to the right. I'm like, your yeah. other left. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever the fuck it takes. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't, I don't know why I picture you as a kid with a beard. I don't yeah. know why. I can't think I finished him at four years old with a full grown beard. Because you have like a very young face, but I feel like the beard has always been there. <laughs> so we're in the middle of this. You got a beard yourself. Uh, at the end of the month, one of us has to shave. We have a bet going on right now who can get more YouTube subscribers. And, you know, he obviously has more of a beard than me, but I have, neither of us have like razor blade shaved in like a decade. So we'll see how young that face is if I can win this bet. We'll see yeah. what's underneath there. You know, you guys could probably both pull off a shave and be like, you know, fully and be fine man. with it. You'll, you'll feel weird, but you know, you got to do that in amateur fighting. So when I compete, I will have to shave this shit off. And you can't I have a beard in fighting? You can't, for whatever stupid reason. Weird. You could be on all sorts of fucking steroids. They don't change yeah. that, but no beard. Really? That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. You have to shave. And then they do, you know, when you do it, it's like, you, sometimes you got to do it before the way in. So you shave the beard and I have no reason, I have no idea why. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and you know what I look like? I, you know, and it, it was in the middle of winter. I look like I look like and I, my skin was like yellow. I look like Homer Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even fight. I'm, I didn't even I fight. Like, they call, they called off the fight. Yeah, this. I'm just like this. <laughs> they call it off. <laughs> yeah, because you know, the amateur boxing is dirtbag. Sometimes your opponent doesn't show. Yeah. You know, there's always all these politics. So I'm now sure. without a fuck. Dude, pro, like big time boxing is dirtbag shit. They're oh, all yeah. fucking it's grimy. Super you know? dirtbag well, shit. Well, that's your that's your shit, right? Dirtbag shit is yeah, your is your Yeah, I like that. That's a that's a good brand and mantra to have dirtbag shit because there's something uh you know there's like the bad dirtbags of the world but then there's like the the, the, the honorable dirtbags of the Absolutely. world you know it's like most dirtbags are the best yeah that's what, like, like <laughs> dirt, dirt bag is almost one that like you call me a dirtbag i'm kind of like yeah yeah you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah depends on how you say yeah. it and it kinda, but it's, it's like it's yeah i'm like proud how, to be a dirtbag <laughs> how girls used to like talk to their friends like she's such a fucking slut yeah and, like, right. I'm like, I'm like, you gotta be my boy he's a fucking dirt, dirt bag. bag yeah exactly <laughs> you know and and we, you're we're a hustler no you're scheming you're scamming you're everyone has a little bit of dirt bag in it it could be something as simple as uh, you might use your metro card to get some fucking poppy seeds out of your teeth. Bro, I, did all the time. I did it all the time. Fucking <laughs> clean your nails with your metro card. I think it's savvy. It's $170 for that fucking Yo, card. Might as well make multiple uses of it. That's exactly what I, I used broke up cocaine with fucking metro <laughs> card. Like, yeah. I don't bend it because that's a $170 metro card. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you know, be smart. Yeah, uh, that, that's dirtbag that's, shit. That's good. It's like a little like are you garbage-esque, but are you dirtbag right, is exactly. very, yeah, there's a lot of shit in this city where there's some dirt bag vibes to which it. by the way you know some dirt bag shit but bar stools is a is a platform for the people i saw a homeless man outside in front of here mm -hmm. screaming at uh the cyclists mm -hmm. and he had a bar stool sweater really I like, bar stools <laughs> represent the voice of the voiceless oh, man <laughs> and it was crispy there was no limb balls on it <laughs> oh they, oh, they gave him a fresh got, one i almost got pushed off the subway platform by a guy wearing a bar stool shirt <laughs> Which would have been the ultimate way to go, man. I, I was, 
I was That's a much uh, better way to die than falling off a scooter with the helmet <laughs> on and killing yourself. <laughs> I was walking uh, kind of against the grain, if you will. And I was being reckless. I was just on the yellow line. Earbuds on? Yeah, yeah but, I, but I had my head up, but I was on the yellow line and I was walking and there was this dude coming the other way. And at first I was kind of like, I'm not moving. This guy better move. And then we got closer and I was like, I'm going to move. This guy is fucking. But when I, I looked down, I saw his shirt. I was kind of like, oh, he's probably going to recognize me if he's like a parcel <laughs> guy. And then as we really got close, I realized he was like muttering to himself and oh, kind of crazy and shit. So at that point, we had got close enough and I did move. But he was like, like started, you know, growling and shit at me. And I was like, this is it. I'm going to go right over the fucking edge. Right. as And the train was coming and everything. I was like, I'm going to die by a guy. Wearing my own fucking, fucking label. That, that was logo. something that Dave wanted to do when we first moved to New York. Just see the to give all our clothes to homeless people, so Bro. people knew when they were in Barstool area territory. He he so, he's, <laughs> he compared it to like like medieval times where you would like I think you would you know like put heads on spikes and shit in like as so as people would approach the city they'd be like okay we're officially in you know King Henry's area or whatever. Yeah. So he wanted it to be like as soon as you get to you know. Right around Penn Station, or once you get out of Chelsea, you know you're in Barstool Land. I was like, <laughs> yeah, let's give all the derelicts of the city our fucking logo, man. That's dude, a great idea. Dude, that happened, right? So how about this? I I had so I knew someone who worked at fucking Snowbird, I think it was, which is Ski Mountain out in Utah. Okay. Right. And every year, um, you know, all the employees get uh you know, like like really nice, like Helly Hansen or North Face personalized gear where it's got the snowbird. Uh, engraved and and stitched into it and all that shit. And one year, fairly recently, and this is the story he told me. I never looked it up. Um, that there was a homeless guy who murdered someone, and then murdered a employee, and stole their. Oh no, no, he got no, no. It was a homeless guy who got it from Goodwill. Just got because because they donate all their stuff to Goodwill at the yeah. year because they get a new crop of uniforms next year. Got it from Goodwill murdered someone in it and like in like his perp walk and was wearing like oh, snowbird shit. gear oh, on my god it's a nightmare and dude. so from now on they when they give like this stuff to the homes at the end of the year they cut all it off first yeah, yeah. you don't even, you don't even mm -hmm. think about that yeah you don't think about it. it's so fun that reminds me of a i, I recently donated to goodwill they had this uh, a truck set up by Tompkins square park my wife the job. <laughs> She's been a flight attendant for every fucking airlines. <laughs> and she works for like six months. She's like, I'm done with this. I'm done with so she threw away her flight attendant outfit. Now I'm walking down the street and I see a fucking homeless person digging in the garbage <laughs> with a flight attendant outfit. <laughs> I'm like, yo, Delta's are struggling. <laughs> COVID hit them hard. <laughs> Isn't that wild? That is. That is crazy. You know, he's got like, a jackpot. Yeah. This looks cute. This is a smart I got little style right going here. here. <laughs> got a little name tag, too. <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> so, uh, so you and, and Chrissy, uh, how'd you how'd you end up linking up? Just because yeah, yeah, just because Chris links up with any Puerto Rican, any Spanish person <laughs> yeah. in the world. He, he just attracts them like a fucking he orbit. Puerto Rican. I might be good for the show, you know? <laughs> I might be good for the show, you know? I get some balance to it, whatever. Uh, you know, we always been friendly and cool. I have a feeling, though, he's a smart dude. You know, I'm a trainer, obviously, so I think he likes to take me on the road. because I'll smack one, the, keep yeah, you safe. I smack the cheese doodles on his ass. <laughs> Every time we visit a city, if the time allows, we'll visit a gym, you know, some grimy mm -hmm. gym. So, you know, I keep my well, Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy Bitch Hips is, you know, he's he's, <laughs> he a, he's a he's a he is a wrecked he's a brick, you know what I mean? Like, even if he's in good shape, he's got that thickness. He's thick. Him. Yeah. He's thick. Yeah. He, he got be he in good shape with like a size 42 waist. Yeah. He got those salsa hips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I mean, he is just meant. He is like uh he's he's trans I mean, ethnic yeah. is what he is. <laughs> he he should transition to Puerto Rican. Because yeah. everything he, he about him is Puerto Rican. Too. Huge. He got a big he golden monster. retriever head. And I'm not talking about a golden retriever you find at the pond. He got like a purebred golden retriever head. Like I what's up? I was I looked at his profile, like, yeah, he had his fucking Big, bro. It's, it's a bucket, man. It would fit this. Thing. Yeah, and he looks whack with hats. No, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, when when you have a huge head, you can't you can't you do can't it. do it. Yeah, we got a guy here who uh, Tommy Lay is like an eight and a half head, yeah. I think, and it's like he puts a. What do you say? He said he looks like a. Uh, 
a, a, a beluga whale or something. He, he said <laughs> he said nothing above sea level should have a head as big as me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, if Christian wears a hat. He's gonna wear on the if he's wearing the one last, the, yeah the last buckle. <laughs> He'll make that hat look like one of those quarter hats. Use the plastic hats used to get out the fucking the ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Out of the, oh, out of the fucking yeah, quarter the machine. Smaller one, the quarter machines. <laughs> That's what he'll make yeah. that show look like. <laughs> but we have a good time on the road. It's a good show. Usually I'll, you know, I'll open up with 20 to 30 minutes and he brings it home. We compliment mm -hmm. each other. And it's all about him, really. We was at, just at the Beacon and that was a lot of fun to be a part of. Yeah. Once again, that's his thing. But to be a part of that shit was super dope. Yeah. You and know? If you're from New York and you get to do some of these like iconic New York spots sold out. Dogs. I mean, that's, that is like next level shit. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was real fucking dope. I felt a little bad for him because the day of, man, there was just so much going on. He's passive, where in this, like in the sense where if I had a big show like that, you think I would allow anyone in the green room? Mm -hmm. There was fucking he had everybody. Yeah, there right? was like fucking uh, there was like pig shoulder. Yeah. There was fucking you know someone celebrating the sweet sixteen. <laughs> it was just all these different things going on, and I was like, Chris, that, you need that's to focus. Chrissy though, man. Yeah. I mean, he's chaos. got the it is chaos, but he's got the house and the kids and mm -hmm. the stepkids and the this and the that. Hit Pimp and TT. I mean, he's got a whole world around him yeah, that's like, yeah. it really is. It's like a cartoon, but it's real life. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pimp is an interesting dude. For those who don't know, he's, he does all the camera work for. Yeah. I, I, I was, uh, the first time I saw him, I thought he was homeless. He had. Homeless pimp is really the perfect word for it because it's like he had it, like a Velcro pants in the middle of summer. Dude, he was wearing not Velcro, I'm sorry, corduroy. corduroy. Yeah, corduroy. He, wears, he wore the corduroy pants to the gym the other day. Yeah, I saw working that. out in the corduroy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, dogs. but I mean, I guess when you got a brand now, he's got a style that he's got to yeah, keep up. I wasn't. I mean, if, if I ever catch homeless pimp like, wearing oh. fucking you know like regular clothes, I'm like, what, what's this about? <laughs> I if I see you like at a funeral, you better be wearing like corduroy with the fucking glasses and the and, jacket. And, yeah, and when when you dress like that. I, First, I was, I was like, in my head, I was going, I couldn't like, like, quite figure it out. Yeah. But now I get it. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker who dresses like that, but he wears it like he's wearing a t-shirt mm -hmm. and jeans. You know well, what I'm saying? You know what it is? So he he has more style, and like when we were first all coming up at Barstool, we were all fucking not dirt bags, but like it was truly just like frat bro, you know, style, right? And so he would wear like. A scarf. And we'd be like, you're gay! What is this shit? Bro, we, we called him no, Madame Feidelberg because one time he wore like a jacket. Dude, the, cra the greatest one, I got roasted at the office. Like, like, like blogs written about me like, can you fucking believe this guy? Because I wore just a simply a waterproof jacket when it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was a black. <laughs> we ran a it was raincoat when it, it rains. Black, you fucking the, pussy. Like, I, I, I say waterproof jacket because I say raincoat. And people are like, oh, it must have been like a fucking, you know, the Gordon's fisherman. No, yeah. this is a black zip up jacket that yeah, was waterproof that was, material. It, it was a raincoat. Yeah. It was a raincoat. And it was just like as standard as it gets. And they're like, Dude, you wear raincoats in the rain? I was, like, <laughs> I was like, who the fuck am I talking to? What world do I live in right now? Now, that like, was also. That was more the office, right? Because that was like Dave at that point was dressing like it was like '90s grunge. Yeah, <laughs> he had like big flannel jack of uh, shirts on and weird like baggy jinkos and shit. But uh, at, then you know everybody got a little bit more money. We come to New York, people started to get fashionable. All of a sudden, they're wearing everything he was wearing like two years later. You know what I mean? It's like everybody eventually kind of finds their way into these looks, but it's the people ahead of the curve who it's like, whoa, yeah. what, what is this? But that's that, a lie that you were just dressing appropriately. Totally like, normal. <laughs> like like totally normal. <laughs> like well, was, no, I mean, like, I know, let's, let's yeah, be fair. No, Sometimes, I, sometimes I, I, you I, push I, the little limit. Like, I'm getting like kind of funky yeah. pants today. I, yeah. I, I'll wear I like it. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Funky's I, look at the way I'm dressed. You would always get a little funky. I'm 42 years old. I got a salt and pepper beard. I got tie-dye. Fucking job. Look at my sneakers. Dogs. Yeah, yeah. I got silver and black sneakers. I am most certainly going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Fucking Wu Tang shirt from like 1993. I'm going through it. Well, I, I I got the sneaker itch too. I don't have it as much anymore, but I got like a hundred pairs of sneakers at home. And people were like, "You're going through a midlife crisis." And I was like, <laughs> I, "It's not. I'm not at my midlife yet, but I'm absolutely buying things that I couldn't get as a kid with the money I can now have." Which is pretty much the definition of a midlife crisis. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? right. So yes, I'm I am midlife. Am. I am in crisis. Yes. <laughs> right. I need a different name for it. But yes, that's what's happening. Yeah, uh, but that, yeah, I mean that that was always the funniest looking back on it. It was like, but Madame whatever Feidelberg. feels good, right? It's all too yeah. short. Well, whatever oh, oh, feels so good. I think my point though is, if if I were to wear what you wear, I you would make fun of me and I would look lame. 
because you could see it on me that I'm not wearing it with confidence. You know what I mean? Like you'll, you'll be you, looking if, at the person and looking at yourself. Like I would, yeah, I would be like, "Are these cool? Is this, does this fit? Does this look good?" You know? And you just know if someone's meant to rock that kind of stuff or right. not. So it really is. I don't know how it's. It's not. It's like an aura you almost put off when you know if someone's meant to dress that way or not. Because I could put on that same outfit and it would be like, yeah. You look I, like I think idea. I've described it as I, I, it's not like a funk. You said funky is a good word to do it. it it's just something like. It's. I, I think when you're trying to look different, it comes off too like, all right, they're trying to look different. Yeah. Whereas I, I've, I don't like looking the same, and I think that's different. I don't know how it's different than. I they, also think it's they a do like of... literally mean the same thing, but for some, there's something different about going about it those two ways that make it easier. Well, you also in the first time you said trying, and the second time you said like to. There's a difference if it's just like I like to wear this yeah. versus like. I'm trying. I don't. Maybe I don't even like to wear this, but I'm going to try to because I want to stand out. Or right, right, right. It's just how I like to dress, and if it is stylish or fashionable, and whatever. Involves, so be it. That involves quarter of the gym. So what? You know, quarter of the gym <laughs> is fucking. You know, a fashion statement got on my nerves. The fanny pack across the chest. Yeah, that, me too. That, me everyone too. looked like that, they just did it because the other person was yeah, doing it. Yeah, they were yeah. looking at the fanny pack. 100% that, agree with that. That shit lasted like, four hours, and that shit was annoying. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like, I mean, I guess the, the, a fanny pack itself is very useful if you would rock it but the minute you're doing like louis over the chest and come on no, matching it to this and that it's like this i know there's nothing even in there you know if you're like a dad walking around with you got the pacifiers and shit fine whatever i don't yeah. know but you that shit's empty and you're just wearing a fucking a purse around your chest it's a bit much that, that was one i was always happy because I, I i i don't think i'm quick to like do a trend and i was like oh, that was one where just just because of people doing it well, and you don't like seat one. belts. You ain't gonna like that yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. That walk shit's around cutting off my titties, banging out like that. <laughs> uh, do we have? Can we do ATI? Do we have room for that? Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, do, you, do you know answer the internet? It's a series we do where uh, we just ask you ridiculous questions from a game show that we got. Yeah, let's so do we're it. Gonna, we're gonna bounce across uh, the way to do, go to the studio. But uh, where can people get dirtbag shit and all that stuff? Tell the people where to go. Uh, at DBS Podcast or at Sergio Chicone. You'll find everything you need. Easy peasy, Search bro. SergioChicone.com. The website has all the dates. Three simple things. At DBS Podcast. At Sergio Chicone. SergioChicone.com. Beautiful. Let's go. Make sure you subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be fast, so that's it.